Hi all, Tesla claims that 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range can go approximately 600 kilometers in single charge. In reality, perhaps only my grandmother can do that. I wonder how far you can go with 2021 Tesla Model 3 long range on a highway speed. So let's find out. <laughs> Today we will do a 375 km test with Tesla Model 3 long range. We live in Vilnius and uh, one of the furthest points in Lithuania is Nida, which is 375 km away. It shows that uh, we can reach uh, with Tesla this distance and we will have remaining 5% of battery. So let's try to drive in uh, normal speed, not uh, over speeding. Battery is fully charged, it's still preconditioning. Uh, our energy gauge showing that we can drive 608 kilometers in this kind of tempo, but uh, we will drive a bit of highway, so most likely it will be shorter. Yes, and it uh, shows that we are on a limit while reaching Nida. So we have left the city and uh, we have driven 36 kilometers and our expected uh, battery remaining has increased to 8%. So we are approaching 100 kilometers, uh, so till now we have consumed uh, 17 kilowatt hours of energy and the average consumption highway and city is 167 watt hours per kilometer. Uh, let's see what our energy shows. So we have still 76% of battery remaining and uh, it uh, estimates that we will arrive to NIDA at uh, 4%. Uh, let's see where we'll end up next update in, uh, in 100 kilometers. So we have stopped in Circle K in City Konas where we have driven almost 120 kilometers. Stopped just because of technical reasons. We need some coffee, sandwiches uh, and that's it. We are not planning to charge. Even in this Circle K we don't have charger, but in Lithuania we have started partnership with Ionity and we are building some fast chargers in some of Circle K. So, we have entered into a highway where 130 km speed is allowed, so most likely energy consumption will increase. So the energy shows that we have 8% remaining when coming to Nida but uh, now we will drive much faster, so energy consumption will, will go up. Let's see, next update on 200 kilometers mark, and uh, we still have uh, 248 kilometers to drive. So we have passed, uh, or almost passed 200 kilometers mark, and uh, uh, but is 49% of battery remaining and obviously electricity consumption increased to 176 uh, watt hours per kilometer because we were driving 130 on a highway uh, but still we have 179 kilometers remaining looking to the energy uh, kind of estimates as 188 188 and 178 so we should come with 10 percent uh, remaining 10 kilometers remaining but uh, this forecast or estimate shows quite optimistic prognosis that we will have still seven percent remaining of the battery so next update on uh, 300 kilometers mark So 
we are coming to 300 kilometers mark and uh, till now we have consumed 54 kilowatt hours of energy and average consumption is 180 watt hours per kilometer uh, our estimate uh, came back to the initial level and it shows 5% of battery remaining when coming to NIDA and the interesting thing is that uh, uh, last 50 kilometers uh, projection uh, or according to last 50 kilometers projection is 91 kilometers to drive but we have 79 kilometers so seems like we, we will make this journey now it's only a question I we will get uh, a free charging station in Nida but we have nice weather outside so we'll spend some time near the sea uh, hopefully we will be able to charge and come back later so next update from the port because uh, we will have to, to take ferry to move to Koronian Split. So finally we are in a ferry and uh, now we are crossing uh, Koronian Kur Lagoon to uh, Koronian Split and uh, till now we have consumed 59 kilowatt hours of battery we have managed 333 kilometers and uh, we have 47 kilometers to our destination now looking to the energy uh, we still have 15% of battery remaining and uh, in our destination we will still have 6% uh, of uh, battery capacity which is a bit better than, uh, than the initial 5% estimate. So finally we have reached our destination uh, to Nida, one of the furthest points in Lithuania. Uh, we have covered one, 383 kilometers, we have consumed 65 kilowatt hours of electricity and the average consumption was 171 watt hour per kilometer. All the time we were driving on the limit speed and uh, we still have 5% uh, of battery remaining. Um, so the myth is busted and uh, you can use Tesla long range to travel in Lithuania and of course in perfect conditions which you are now, 23 degrees of Celsius, you can cover from Vilnius to Nida in four and a bit hours with single charge with Tesla Model 3 long range. <laughs> 